Okay, I'm recording this video after the close of trade Monday, 10th of May 2010, and the roller coaster ride continues. We had a huge uh, kind of gap open on Sunday evening. This is uh, Thursday's sell off here, Friday's trade, where we had huge ranges just moving between these cyclical levels. And then on uh, Sunday evening, the Emini gapped up 20 points or so, and we've run away to the upside about 60 points uh, greater than uh, around the, uh, the lows or the, uh, the close of, of Friday's trade. Hit uh, cyclical resistance at this point on the 40,500 chart, and we've come back down and settled. I uh, just want to draw your attention to a, a few things. First of all, on this chart, uh, that the push into this uh, cyclical turn was a Rambo pattern led by, you know, kind of the amateurs at this point. We have a little professional bar there up at the top, a couple of stopping volume uh, patterns, and that's going to be a significant uh, resistance level. So that's the uh, 1062 level. And then coming into the close on Monday, we had a professional bar, blue bar, kind of selling into the, the highs there. And here we've got exhaustion buying at this point. Uh, we haven't come up to a cyclical turning point, but if I just drop down to the 4,500 tip bar chart, so this is the tip bar chart that I'm looking for uh, for trend direction on a daily basis. You can see coming into the close here, whole series, I don't know, there's got to be about 10 professional bars. Uh, as we're coming up into this uh, closing on the highs or you know closing strong on the day at least above uh, 1155 all these professional bars exhaustion selling and then you know in the uh, overnight session we're, we're down at eight points or more uh, at the moment kind of uh, coming off so um, just this professional activity at the end of the day does does not uh, look good to me I think the professionals have seen you know the gap open that we've got here uh, this this gap is is will act as a magnet kind of going forward and whether we uh, close the gap or kind of move back down to it don't know uh, let me just show you the uh, sine wave charts now I've been talking about this uh, kind of the relationship between the daily and the 45 minute chart on, on the sine wave here because we had this extraordinary strength you can see the way the market kind of has gapped up today because we had that extraordinary strength, we've had our cyclical turn, we're kind of expecting some kind of cyclical turn that does put in a, a cyclical low uh, at this point on, on Friday's low there. Uh, however, we've not made a kind of a clean end of trend uh, warning signal on the 45 minute time frame. So what I like to do is I like to look two time frames down, uh, which is a 45 minute chart. Um, and that shows that, you know, a few days ago, we've broken into a downtrend uh, below 1180. We've now formed a pullback and a downtrend. This last kind of push up into the cyclical pullback level, professionals taking profits and potentially, you know, getting to and potentially kind of getting short. So we've still got to make some kind of uh, cyclical turn here. So I'm going to be looking for uh, the real low in this move to be made after we get that cyclical turn on the 45 minute uh, time frame. You can also see it on the uh, the higher time frame. So if I just go up to uh, the 81 minute chart here, we're coming up to a cyclical turn. We've broken below support. We're in a downtrend cyclical support kind of coming up. Uh, and then if you uh, look at the 135 minute, the next one up, I mean, these break levels on on these time frames often act as uh, resistance and support. You know, so what was uh, resistance at, uh, support? I beg your pardon. At this point, when we broke through it, has now become resistance when we come back up to it. You know, around this level, the 1155 uh, type level. So technically speaking, I, although we have a, a strong day today, I still believe we're we're in a downtrend. We've got to make a proper uh, bottoming pattern. So that's what I'm going to be looking for, kind of a confirmation that this is a cyclical turn and that we're going to get strength kind of going forward for the next few days. This gap is going to act as a significant uh, characteristic of the charts kind of going forward. So how the, the market plays against the low and the high, uh, the low of Monday and the, the high on Friday uh, is going to be um, kind of critical. We're going to be playing games around these levels, I believe, at least. I'll tack on some of the uh, the day trading uh, uh, charts that I did uh, earlier on it was, you know, again, this volatility I love, you know, I was finished trading in the first 25 minutes of the day. I was playing off this cyclical turn happening on the 4,500 tip bar chart. As I said, I'll, I'll put on the video of the day trade itself, but you can see coming into the highs in the morning, we'd, we'd had, um, you know, this little bit of a bounce at the pullback level. So 
on the Sunday evening we'd broken into a up trend. We'd come back and and played a, a little off this pullback level here. We had bullish divergence and we kind of came back into the highs at 1160. Coming into this move, you could see all these professional bars kind of going up in the highs. Now, professional bars on the way up kind of suggest profit taking. So, you know, when we come into a significant cyclical turning point, it was actually an end of trend warning signal here with a no demand pattern there, you know, uh, high likelihood after exhaustion buying of a cyclical turn. Uh, when you drop down to the 1500 tip bar chart, you can see again all the professional bars here, the exhaustion buying uh, kind of leading into this move. The move kind of topped out with a, a bearish divergence, so just showing less buying pressure at this point, and the market drops away, you know, really nicely. The entry that I took was uh, on the 500 tip bar chart. You can see again all the bullish um, uh, buying activity, exhaustion buying activity here coming into these highs, these professional up bars. And then as the market starts to roll over, we've got less and less buying pressure showing uh, the bearish divergence signals at this point here. We have a very weak uh, push uh, to retest the highs here being led by the amateurs at that point there. Uh, amateur yellow bar. We have a cyclical turn which prints a couple of bars uh, later than that actual high there, but that's an end of trend warning signal. We break the uh, pullback in an uptrend level and we're a ways to the downside. I actually entered a little bit earlier. I think I entered uh, here at this point, uh, thinking that we were just going to crash straight through that pullback level. Um, we didn't. We kind of just made a little bit of a bounce and then I was out after four points later uh, down here at 55.50. So, uh, you know, that was really nice. That was done, you know, before the first 30 minutes was uh, over for the day. Uh, we also, I also should have, take, uh, should have taken this trade early in the day, just after the open, after seeing all this bullish divergence uh, kind of taking place at this point here, but quite ready to, to take a trade at that point. So, you know, that was a nice one. Um, anyway, so there we go. Hope your trading's going well and have a good week.